Have you been wondering how you can live stream your pre-recorded video to Facebook? Yes, this is possible and that is what we are going to do today. And just in case, if you are new to this channel, I am Peter Sunday of XPD Media. You are welcome to my channel. And if you have not subscribed, this is an opportunity for you to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when next I post another content. And the app that we are going to use today is Switcher Studio. When I launch the application on my iOS, I'm using my iPad. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your, on your iPad. You have a trial version of 14 days that you can go to switcherstudio.com and download this app and try it if you're going to like it. But for me, I have it more than three, going to four years now, and I don't have any reason to to not have this application so we are going to open this app by clicking use as switcher so when we get into use as switcher this is the opening interface that you 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 see here is your source and here is your live sc screen so all these components that are here these are your asset the first one is the camera of the ipad itself but that is not what we are going to use. I'm just going to show you how you can live stream your pre-recorded video to Facebook. So quickly, we are going to go into bringing in the video. So you go to the bottom of the screen and click on this plus sign. From this plus sign, these are where you can bring in your asset. You can bring photo, you can bring video, you can create a graphics, you can bring in your logo camera input you can go to your cloud switcher cloud and bring your assets and you can bring in multi views uh, into your switcher studio but for the sake of this we're just going to go into bringing a video and the video is in my photo library so this is the video that i'm going to import and done the video is in my source the next thing we are going to do is so from the from the bottom here this is your camera source and we are not going to talk about that the second one is what we are going to use which is your broadcasting your output broadcast so these are the platform that which you can broadcast your video either live or pre-recorded these are the platform you can send them to you can send them to broadcast to facebook you can broadcast to YouTube, you can broadcast to LinkedIn, you can broadcast to Twitch, and you can customize your RTMP, or you can just do none, meaning you just want to record your video on the device itself, maybe for future um, broadcast or something. So, like I said, we are just going to base on this the second icon, which is the output broadcasting. You click on stream so when i click on stream by default it's going to ask you to it's going to ask you to give switcher studio permission to your facebook you're going to put in your you're going to log into your facebook account to be able to link to be able to get to your destination of where you are streaming to so as it is when you open it this is what it's going to show you when i click this drop down i have page these are pages that i can live stream to this is my church here in the united states this church is international is in nigeria so i manage the two and i broadcast to either one that i want and you can also broadcast to a group but in a group it has to be the group that you are the owner or you need to go to the group to give Twitter studio permission to broadcast into this page so that is how that works and you can broadcast into your timeline just your normal facebook timeline so you have endless option of your destination of where you want to broadcast your video to for this tutorial we're just going to use page because most of the time people are broadcasting to their page maybe church page or your business page so when you click on the page then you select your destination in this case it's going to be xpd media that is my my 
personal account like personal page so from here you can title your streaming so if i want to title my streaming i can put i can give it um a name i'm just gonna do test and i will do pre rare call dead video okay so at this point i've just put a pre i mean a little description so now we can optimize this optimization optimize connection to facebook this we optimize from this application to test your internet speed to give you the best result as to if it's going to stream it in 1080p or 720 or 540 so this is very very important you need to optimize your video and guess what even the 720 is still a very very great quality that is going to go live so your internet just have to be very strong for you to be streaming 1080p out so but the 720 honestly i don't really see much difference in so because of my internet and i don't want interruption or my streaming buffering to my audience i just always go with 720 and you can never tell that if it's 720 or it's uh 1080p so after doing all these you just click create streaming so then we are ready to go live so here i created a broadcast notification this broadcast notification what it means is just is just to show that broadcast will begin shortly and the reason is you just just want to drop the video and click record the first two seconds is going to cut off they're not going to hear it so you want to put a notification out there even if it's just for a few seconds before you drop the video then at the end of the video there's always another broadcast has ended which you can also put at the end of your video so now I'm going to put it back on broadcast will begin shortly so the third one you can actually use this this is a this is a transition cut dissolve wipe but for me I always just use dissolve meaning that broadcast will begin shortly is going to dissolve to when the video is coming in so as soon as you are ready to broadcast you just click on the record button when you click on the record button rec live and record is going to be active meaning that you are broadcasting to live and the broadcast is going to is going to save on your ipad as a backup you can um, have access to just in case if you are doing like a live broadcast to to the air like if you are hosting a, a live show you can broadcast it and you're still going to have your backup recorded on your device which is pretty cool so as we are ready you just hit record if you watch on the screen when i click on this video it's going to dissolve it to this and if this is turned on everything is going to facebook directly and when i finish the broadcast i can always click on this broadcast has ended and that is how you can broadcast your pre-recorded video to Facebook and make it appear as if it's a live broadcast. I so much prefer this option than the, the Facebook premiere. It's awesome, but sometimes it takes longer period of time before the video can upload into Facebook server. But in this case, I always just want to do it myself and any video it can be pre-recorded i mean it can be broadcast to facebook live 
yeah so thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel this is an opportunity for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i post another informative content like this thank you and be safe out there and i'll see you in the next video bye